So? What? What happened next? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah, nothing. Ed, there are some things I still don't quite understand. What happened to your mother? Why was she crying? She cut herself. When was the last time you cried because of a little cut? Maybe it wasn't a small cut. I don't remember much. Why didn't your father want your mother to find out about the Frangles? <sighs> You've misunderstood. My father always hid treasures around the house for me. Little presents or just some candy. It was a game. I see. Would you say you were a little obsessed with pirates? Not as much as you are with psychoanalyzing me. I was just a kid. Do you tend to obsess over things? Maybe you're the one who's obsessed, asking the same question over and over again. One last... I was under the distinct impression that psychologists just listened. And I was under the impression that patients go to therapy to heal. Maybe wanting to heal isn't the problem. Maybe the patient isn't either. Ah, oh, come on. Don't you ever get tired of being ridiculous? It's not going to work this time either. Please. Earlier, I sat down at the edge of the pond. There's something about it that... I don't know. Lingers? It's as if I were there right now. The water moved slowly. I liked the sound. The air was humid, sweet. The cool breeze whistled between my fingers. You could barely hear the birds in the distance. It smelled like sap, like bark, like earth. I imagined myself eight years old, sitting, smelling, feeling, seeing. And I imagine you, eight years old. I see you. You've climbed up into the treehouse. You're playing. What are you playing? Ready to board. Now! Okay, Dad. 
Flanagan, get all hands on deck. Oi, Captain! Governor Miller requires me presence at the forecastle to discuss highly important matters. Where did you get all of this? They're treasures. They're all over the place. They're not actually treasures. But I make it look like it. The trick is half closing your eyes. Why the name? It's from a movie. The dreaded Captain Roberts. Mm-hmm. Do you like being scary? Only when I'm a pirate. Why is Flanagan so ugly and hunchbacked? Maybe because he's a little dumb? Mm-hmm. Are ugly people dumb? He's kind of like... a monster. But cute and fun. Who gave you all of that? My dad bought me a ton of pirate toys. Look closely. Are you sure that toy was bought in a store? Maybe... I found it somewhere. Like my treasures. Before... He would give me presents. Lots. Why did he stop? He's busy. Who built it? Dad. Did he build it by himself? With Mr. Samuels. And Mom and Mrs. Samuels helped. Why did he yell at you like that? Sometimes he gets a little upset. What makes him upset? The yearning. I told you about coming in here while I'm working. 
I made you lose focus and artists what do you need say to concentrate. You go to the garage and bring me a you know what. I don't think I know what you know what is. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't. Oh, and most importantly, your mom can't find out. A secret pirate brotherhood pact? Sure, but she can't find out. Come on! You're taking forever! You told me about a pirate handshake where you bumped fists. Did that actually happen? Or did you make it up? It might have happened another day, before, when everything was peachy. Ed, your father, has he ever hit you? Once. What happened? I just wanted to play Minesweeper on his computer. But it turned off. Then... Dad came, and he got angry, and turned it on, and couldn't find something, so he got angry. He turned mean, and he looked at me like I was a bad kid. And your mom, has he ever hit her? I don't know. What is your dad writing? A bestseller. Will it? Sell, I mean. He'll never finish it. How much does your dad smoke? I don't know, but he doesn't want to. Who makes him? The yearning. Mm-hmm. Is that what he says? So your father hides treasure around the house as a kind of game for you. Do you remember other treasures, aside from the Frangles? Not right now. So you and your dad made up the Pirate Brotherhood? Or was there anyone else? No, just me. And your dad? I don't know. No, it's here in the garage, but where exactly? That is the question, Flagon. The governor is constantly changing its location. Ooh, of course, Captain, but... Enough questions, Flagon. Start looking! They look pretty dangerous for a kid. Mom doesn't let me go in there. But your dad asked you to go in. Your dad said he would fix it. I'll never ride my bike again.
head. Are you okay? Ed, what are you feeling? I... I feel... I feel... I feel... Okay. Okay, it's all right. Are you out of your mind? Sit down there. Breathe this. The next step in the long process of Joe human self-destruction involved an internal rebellion. His nervous system out of revenge for being mistreated by Joe. It's all a bunch of crap, Ed. I'll never make it. I'm worthless. You understand? Fucking worthless. I'm worthless. You're worthless. Waste. No, no matter, no matter how, how hard you try, okay? You're trapped. Remember that. One day it'll come. It'll never go away. Understand? Remember. Dad. I have to... Mom is in the kitchen. like basketball? Ed, I'm sorry. Who, who are you talking to? To you. I love it. 
So do I. I knew it. Really? Why is that? Well, because it's awesome. Oh, sure. So are you. Who's your favorite player for the Lakers? Definitely Magic Johnson. Yeah, right. Too obvious. Has to be from this season. Nick Van Exel is my favorite. Nick the Quick. It's not Magic Johnson, of course. But looking at this season... Yeah, the Lakers aren't what they used to be. It's a shame. Really a shame. You fell, right? How long ago? Eddie! I got really hurt, and Mom got really scared. Dad, too. It was epic. So after falling from the ivy, you didn't get vertigo? What is that? Fear of heights. For Captain Roberts, fear is what's found on the faces of his enemies. Ed, do you drink? So much. Today I drank a huge glass of water in one gulp. That's good. It's important to drink water. Is it a normal thing for your dad to get really sad all of a sudden? Or angry? Or happy? It wasn't before. sure there's nothing left in the bag? If I were you, I'd check again. All signs point to a bottle of... Why you were crying. Oh, sorry, I got some on your drawing. Does it hurt? Don't come in! Ow! 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 Ed! Eddie!
All right. So, you believe me yet, or are you gonna keep at it? I had to give it a try. Say hello to Joe Human in your sleep for me. Joe who? It's just what I thought. Ed is unconsciously repressing some of his memories or distorting them. But did he block things out himself or with the help of someone else? Yes, Claire was avoidant when I asked her about Ed's past. What if she played a part in that repression? by being elusive, keeping quiet, pretending certain things never happened. What if Ed, aside from fulfilling his father's dream of becoming a writer, followed in his footsteps in other ways? What if, by driving himself off a bridge, Ed was trying to copy his father?
Or maybe it was none of that. Maybe Ed feels guilty for having rebelled against his father. What about his mother? How does one deal with a situation like that? What if a possible sibling Ed has never mentioned is one of the memories he's repressing? Too many questions. I hope Robert has some answers. Mrs. Lomas, is there anything I can get you? Um, you don't do dinners by any chance, do you? No, but there is a wonderful restaurant in Santa Anita, about five miles from here. Oh, thank you. I think I'll order in. It's been a long day. Oh, good luck with that. They don't usually deliver here. I could make you something, if you'd like. Just this one time, I can add it to your bill. Would you like anything in particular? Anything you have is fine. If we can do without animal products... Hmm, just give me a few minutes and I'll bring you something, okay? Hey, sweetie. You must be exhausted. Did you find a motel? You should have let me do it for you. You would have picked something way too fancy. Right. No. Yeah. Of course. You just deserve much more. So, tell me. How is Ed? You know I can't. But I'm paying for it. That's not going to work. No, no, yeah. Of course. Uh, I know, I know. But he'll be alright, right? It's still too soon to tell, but... It's not going to be easy. Hey, dish the dirt. So, what do you think of his Aunt Claire? Have you known her for long? Just over the phone these last few days, but uh, hey, don't change the subject. I don't know. I think she's manipulating Ed. Uh, yeah, I totally get it. Well, I have some bad news. She doesn't want me to continue with Ed's treatment? She called me a little while ago. On the one hand, she says you're very professional, and she likes how punctual and responsible you are. Oh, and the bad news? She's thinking about moving things out of Ed's room so you can bring in the equipment. Does she think I'm going to use brain scanners? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, physical therapy equipment. Walkers and stuff. I don't think she realizes you're a psychiatrist or a psychologist. What is it? Uh, I always forget. Both. Really? Well, the lady has a whole different picture. Um, I still don't understand why that's a bad thing. Hold on. Ed hates psychiatrists. I'm sure Claire does, too. No, no, uh, yeah, for sure. When they find out... Ed already knows, and seems okay with it. As for her, 
Time will tell. Give me a second. I need to think. Yeah, sure. Take your time, sweetie. I'm in no hurry. Although I did order some dinner, and it should be here any minute now. Tell me about Ed's parents. Well, don't know much. His mother died in a car accident. What? And his baby sister. So she had it. And his father killed himself. Oh, I wouldn't have thought. How? He jumped from a bridge. And you didn't think to tell me this before? Well, I, uh, no. It just slipped my mind. Ed is following in his father's footsteps, and I'm sure his first episode of Vertigo came as a result of that trauma. Yeah, rings a bell. Robert. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. How did you meet Ed? Through a mutual friend, one of his college professors. She gave me his manuscript. I loved it, and we met up. The novel was a diamond in the rough, but it needed a lot of editing. Lucky for him, he was talking to the best editor in Los Angeles. It was a few months' worth of work. He would come over, we'd read, talk, drink. You and Ed, were you pretty close? Yeah. Kind of. He became a good friend of mine until Vera... Robert? Yeah, uh, no. Sorry. Are you all right? Yeah. No, uh, I don't know. Yesterday, no, um, the day before yesterday was the anniversary of Veronica's death. I completely forgot about it. It's been eight years, and that's never happened to me before. Do you want to talk about it? No. Yeah. It's fine. It's just weird. It's like I'm... I remember. You said this would happen, didn't you? In our last session. Possibly. Oh, dinner's here. I'll be right back. Ah, take out. A bachelor's best friend. Hey, how's Lou? He's getting worse. Oh my, a visit this late, doctor? Oh, come on. I eat too. Yeah, right. Of course. I'll leave you to it, sweetie. Bon appétit. Talk soon, yeah? Bon appétit. <sighs> Mrs. Lomas, your dinner's gonna get cold. You should have told me first. Adam. I wanted to tell you as soon as I saw you. It didn't seem right to tell you on the walkie-talkie. I should have heard it from you, not by accident.
kid. We have to find my aunt. We'll find your aunt and the son of a bitch that killed your uncle. She's alive, right? She's alive. Harley is getting ready for the biggest search party you've ever seen, Adam. We've already got over a hundred volunteers coming. We'll find her. All right? Let's go. Sure you don't want me to go down there? I've done this before. Just pay attention. Give me more or less slack when I tell you to, okay? You think there's a connection, don't you? Between my uncle and Ed Miller. According to the forensics, your uncle died... ...was murdered. ...a little over a week ago. Nine days ago today, Miller tried to kill himself. We are talking pretty much the same day that Miller's car went over that cliff. And then Jackass says he was riding with a girl and a baby that no one's ever heard of. But firemen went down and didn't find anything. We don't put out fires and they don't find things. All right, go for it. I'm on the ground. I'm on clipping, all right? Roger that, boss. <sighs> I skipped the monthly dinner, Nick. Hmm? No reason. I... just didn't feel like it. I don't know why. Just didn't. You know. I just stayed home, watched some stupid show with Marcello. Maybe if I had gone... None of what happened is your fault. The real culprit is out there, and we're going to find him. Okay? I get why you feel that way, and I have no idea how one gets rid of that feeling. However much time goes by, all I know is that it's pointless. It's like a busted pipe. The more you force it... Nick, are you getting poetic on me now? If that doesn't make you smile, <laughs> I don't know what will.
Nick. Nick, you there? I just... Just... What I said in the car. I'm sorry. Adam. Are you getting... Poetic with me? Son of a bitch. Adam, tell Harley to call forensics. We've got work for them. No! It's too early, John. I don't... Do you even listen to me when I talk? Next week. Oh, here we go again. Next week? There's no traffic now. You know how it gets. If we don't leave before sunrise, we don't get there until lunchtime. I mean, honestly. <sighs> Next week, we should leave at a reasonable time. The kids need their rest. You're saying that as if I didn't care. Not again, please. I'm their father. Are you saying I don't care? No one said that, John. No okay. one. Okay. You're not gonna win this fight. Mm -mm. It's over.
Why am I telling you this? Are you feeling all right? <laughs> it's not just the money, is it? You shrinks are all addicted to other people's pain. You... You get off on it. Tell me about your father. About his... See, case in point. Please. Claire really loves you, huh? If she'd brought me all those books, I would have never left my room. What about the birthday cake she's making for you, huh? Come on, let's see if you remember the ingredients we have to buy. Okay, I'll say one, and then you say one. Baking powder? Eggs? No! 